Chaos Control! Hello everyone, my name is Jordan the Hedgehog and welcome back to Soul Calibur 2. Last time, we completed the sub-chapter of Chapter 8, and now we're about to jump straight into Chapter 9. <laughs> With your final blow, Veril collapsed. His, f his face showed a look of surprise, as if he could not believe that he had actually lost. It was over. You had won. <laughs> I see. So you had the spirit sword. To think that feeding on the power made me more vulnerable. I never considered that. Veril slid to the floor and ceased to move. He had, he had the power of Soul Edge within himself. Tristy, the guardian of the gate, barely managed to talk. The gates existed to prevent the cursed sword from getting out. He saw through the way they worked. Using methods unknown, he called the power of the dark sword into himself in order to pass through the gates. The gates deliberately allowed him through, because their very purpose was to seal that power inside. The power that Vero obtained in the Forbidden Grounds was that of Soul Edge itself. Mizar, Older Baron, and Merak. Vero had fallen, but with the three gates destroyed, Soul Edge was in, an, was in an extremely dangerous state. And restoring the barrier would take time. Someone needed to keep watch over Soul Edge until the preparations for the creation of the new barrier was completed. May I ask this of you? As the vanquisher of Vero and the wielder of the spirit sword, you were most appropriate for the task. After some brief thought, you accepted her request. In order to handle the evil sword safely, it was necessary to first complete the purification of the spirit sword. After learning that Tristy about an old man with after learning from Tristy about an old man with the power to do so, you set off to find him. You travel to Algol, the land of exiles. Corridor of the Sky Only the enemy's weapon is visible. Defeat the enemy under this condition. Okay. Algo was a land of exiles and outcasts. Some of them were for formerly sentenced criminals, while others were people with special powers cast out of their villages. You proceeded carefully along the mountain path. About halfway up Algo Mountain, you witnessed a mysterious sight. An axe floated in midair, blocking your way. Shocked, you stopped for a moment and stared. The axe responded by letting out a growl. You then heard a voice coming from somewhere. Go for that, my axe! Take everything this fool has! It seemed you had been ambushed by a highwayman. You had to do something about this axe before you could go any further. Asteroth. Forget it! The Almighty Ones have granted you a sword to cut your own path. You're going to regret this! Be gone, you scum! Final battle! Fight! <laughs> It's so weird just to see the axe and not the character wielding it. Class up! Ancient Amphitheater. Oh, no, 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 no. 
Unseen forces push the combatants together. Defeat the opponents under this condition. A bonus is available during the matches. Huh? Upon seeing you defeat the axe, the man controlling it ran away. You tossed aside the now lifeless weapon and proceeded along the mountain path. After reaching the other side of the mountain, you came upon a small town along the river. You entered the town and began gathering information about the old man that Tristy had spoken of. That guy you're looking for, yeah, I know him. You heard these words from a man at the local bar. He knew what the old man looked like as well as his profession as a blacksmith. You were excited to have found a lead about the old man so quickly after entering our goal, but things were not going to be quite that easy. The man at the bar requested a fee in exchange for his information. You offered him some money, but the man shook his head. According to him, there would soon be a fighting tournament in town. He wanted you to enter the tournament so that he could win big betting on someone who has who was unknown in the area. You accepted his terms and looked into the tournament. You learned that they linked the combatants together with chains, preventing them from putting much distance between each other. Versus Cassandra. Forget it! Now, two souls are fiercely entangled. Show me what you've got! Sophitia. Battle one. Fight! <laughs> <laughs> Got 6100 gold for my bonus. How's that? Still another three opponents to deal with, though. All right, let's do this. Battle two, fight. <laughs> Damn! I don't believe this! You win! I said no mercy! Gotta make sure to recover as much health while I'm using my soul charge. You're quite the rude one. Battle 3! Oh, fight. I'm the rude one, you say? One more opponent. We can do this, Zhang Hua. Fine. I accept your challenge. Final battle. Fight. Time's up. Damn it. <laughs> Just gotta block it out. I got 22,000 gold from, from that. Nice. And I now found a good place to grind out some good, good money. Reclusive Palace. Only one part of the enemy can be seen. Okay. Defeat the enemy under this condition. As promised, the man gave you the information you needed to find the old man. And you headed to his mansion. There was nothing else for miles around. It was said that the old man did not like people and chose to live away from others. You knocked on the door several times, but there was no answer. Seeing no other option, you pushed on the door. 
It was not locked and creaked open. Who's there? You suddenly heard a voice from behind you. It was the old man. The old man listened to your story without expression, but when you finished, he grumbled to himself. Unbelievable! I'll never live down how that girl turned out. The next day, the old man led you to a room that had obviously been used for some time. He asked you to show him the spirit sword, so you drew Soul Calibur and presented it to him. I see! The spirit of Soul Edge is indeed present in this sword. But, Altair, did you say? They've done quite a good job already. This amount of darkness won't take long to cleanse. As you stood there wondering what would happen next, the old man suddenly shouted, Get ready for the physical manifestation of the evil energy! As usual, things were never as easy as people made them sound. Now, two souls are fiercely entangled. What it who exactly is my foe? Here I come! What was up the screen of showing Jung Hwa? Oh. Oh, okay. Fight. It's Shui. Wow! Okay. A hero so then, am I gonna deal with the legs once again? Or is it a different part? Yeah, it's the legs. I can't even grab him, let alone damage. I can barely damage this thing. Final battle, fight. Ah, finally! Oh, that's the end of the chapter? Okay. I guess once again, another... Another part... Or another stage that I still can access. New area, Antares has appeared. I sure hope I'll be able to, uh... Reach those unlockable spots uh, once I finished uh, the entire story of Weapon Master Mode and Soul Calibur 2, but anyway, since we've completed Chapter 8, I- oh no wait, no, what am I saying, Chapter 9, since we've completed Chapter 9, I'd say that this is a good spot to call it here for now, so, thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for the next exciting episode of Soul Calibur 2. Until then, take care. Chaos Control!